mom is one of nine children, but her mom and dad really loved her. Some would argue more than any of the other siblings. And in large part, it was because my parents had so many children. There was eight of us. And grandma and grandpa loved when we were around. Towards the end of my grandma's life, she didn't really remember too much. And she found herself in a nursing home. I'll never forget my mother sharing with me one of her last encounters. At this point, grandma had stopped talking. She was just in a bed, really unable to do much at all. And included with that, she didn't really recognize anyone. It was a very sad ending. And yet my mom visited her once. And for some reason, the familiarity that she brought was recognized by my grandma. My grandma had a tendency to stick out her tongue to people that she knew and loved. And so it was in this moment that my grandma stuck her tongue out at my mom, telling her, I know it's you. There was familiarity there, and it was in that that she recognized my mom. I share this story because it connects with our first line of the gospel today. The disciples return, telling the story that they've encountered Jesus Christ. And what was it that made them so sure it was Jesus? It was the encounter with the breaking of the bread. They had had so many meals with Jesus over the years, so many moments with him, that it was that moment that, of course, stirred in their hearts and made them recognize Jesus for who he is. I believe that this is a message for each and every one of us, that the Lord Jesus wants to have us encounter him in the Eucharist. He wants us to recognize who he is in the breaking of the bread in the liturgy. So my invitation for you today is very simple. Over the next week, I invite you to attend Mass outside of just your normal Sunday obligation. Find a Mass that fits with your schedule and go and be there at the altar of the Lord. Encounter Him in that real way. Because we're called to have a familiarity with our Lord Jesus. We're called to have a real relationship with him. And the sacraments, most especially, are given to us so that we can grow in relationship with him. The Eucharist is a gift. Let's take hold of it.